But I want to let you know that this is a temporary world. I have not fixed my sights on this world, but I have fixed my sights on the world to come. I've set my course, I've set my direction, and I'm planning to make it all the way through with God. I'm going to get on the right path, stay on the right path, and make it all the way through by God's grace and by His mercy. And you can get on the right path with God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There's no other way to get there. There's no other path to get to God but through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because Jesus Christ laid the price for your sins on the cross. There's no one else who has ever paid the price for your sins. There's no one else. There may have been people that have laid down their lives. Have you been to Jesus for a cleansing cup? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you holy, trusting in His graces? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are you born with sovereign Sunday white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of Are they white as snow? Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom cometh, will your robes be white? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bright and be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Let's talk about are your sins washed away? Has your heart been changed? Have you been transformed? Jesus can help you to be ready. That your heart can be ready to be calm. And each and every one of us, we need to be ready. We need to be ready. We know not hour in which when He will come. But we need to be ready. Jesus surely is coming one day. I encourage you to be ready. Be ready at all times for Jesus' return. We need to be ready to have our sins forgiven to come to Him. Have our life changed and transformed by His power. He's able to do that for us. He's able to forgive. He's able to cleanse. He's able to wash us. At the cross, we can have our sins forgiven. I'll ask and give my Savior me, and if my sovereign God, would He be both now sacred for such a sinner as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by me, I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Thy body slain, sweet Jesus, thy, and bathe in his own blood. While firm Marcus wrapped him by his soul, 
cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for Christ that I had died? He from the Jesus the glorious, 
emancipator, now and forever, he shall be mine. Freedom from fear with all of its torments, freedom from terror with all of its pain. Freedom in Christ, my blessed Redeemer, He who has rent my fetters in twain. Glorious freedom, wonderful freedom, no more in chains of sin I reply. Jesus the glorious, Emancipator, now and forever, he shall be mine. You know, when I think about catching a bus, I think about our need to catch Jesus and have him change our life. And I think about the directions to heaven. You know the directions to heaven? You know the directions to heaven? It's pretty simple. We turn right through Jesus and we go straight. You can remember those two simple things. Turn right, go straight. Turn right through Jesus. Get your life changed, transformed. And then go on the straight and the narrow. He's able to help us to do that very thing. Now, there's a lot of buses coming and going here. And if you get on a bus that's going to the south end of town, and you need to go to the north end of town, I don't know if that bus can end up at the same place. I don't know the path that your bus is running. Maybe they run in both directions. But if you're on a bus that takes you to the furthest extreme one direction and you needed the bus that goes to the furthest extreme the other direction and you get on the wrong bus, you're not going to be in the right place, sorry. And that's why we need to get on the right path with Jesus Christ. We need to get on the right bus, if you will. We need to get on the right path to leading to heaven. And there's only one way to heaven, and that is the straight and narrow. And we have to turn right through Jesus Christ to get on the straight and the narrow. And so I want to encourage you, you pay attention very closely as to which bus you're going to get on because it's important to you. It's important that you get on the right bus. But are you as concerned about getting on the right bus as you are about going to heaven with God? Are you concerned about getting on the right bus as much as you are concerned about your soul and making it all the way through with God? I don't know about you, but this old world, it just lets me down all the time. Things go wrong. Things don't go the way that I want them to go. Things don't always happen the way that I go. Never seems like there's enough money to meet the needs. But I want to let you know that this is a temporary world, and I have not fixed my sights on this world, but I have fixed my sights on the world to come. I've set my course, I've set my direction, and I'm planning to make it all the way through with God. I'm going to get on the right path, stay on the right path, and make it all the way through by God's grace and by His mercy. And you can get on the right path with God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There's no other way to get there. There's no other path to get to God but through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because Jesus Christ laid the price for your sins on the cross. There's no one else who has ever paid the price for your sins. There's no one else. There may have been people that have laid down their lives. I thank God for all those that fought for freedom. I thank God for all those that have done everything that they could to see that, that I have the life that I have today. I thank God for that. But none of them have died and given their lives that I could make it to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only one that has given His life and made a way that you can be forgiven. You see, without the blood of Jesus being shed, without His, His sacrifice on the cross, there would be no path for you uh, from this sinful world to be with God in heaven. But God has made a path and a plan through His Son, Jesus, that you can be redeemed, that you can be transformed, that your sins can be forgiven. Hallelujah. Don't you get tired of carrying that guilt? Don't you get tired of carrying that burden around saying, oh, I don't want to live this way any longer. I don't want to be in bondage to the alcohol any longer. I don't want to be in bondage to the drugs any longer. I don't want to be in bondage to the cigarettes and the vapor or whatever it is that may bind you. I don't want to be in bondage to that. I don't want to be running around carousing any longer. It doesn't satisfy. All the sex in the world will never give you eternal satisfaction. It'll never give you the thing that you're really looking for, the thing that you need. Only Jesus Christ can set you free. Only He can give you the liberty. If you're looking for happiness, it's only going to come through God. Because all the happiness in this world is short term. He doesn't lie because something else is going to go wrong right around the corner. But I want to let you know you don't have to live in this world forever. You don't have to live in a place without suffering any longer. But you can get right with God and know where your eternal home is because Jesus Christ is able to save to the uttermost. 
Now many of you are hearing this preaching and it's penetrating your heart and you're thinking about the words that I'm saying today. For it is not Rodney that's standing here before you, but it is God speaking through me today. He has brought a message. I've come all the way from Pennsylvania to speak right here at this very bus stop on this day, on this ordained moment by God. You are not here by mistake. You are not here by happenstance here in the Word of God. You are here because God has ordained that you would hear the Word of God at least one more time in your life. And you ought you to thank God for His mercy and His love to you. He loves you no matter how far you're gone in sin. No matter whether you've been out of drugs and alcohol, whether you've been out of homosexuality, no matter how far you've gone in sin, I'll let you know that God loves you and He loves you so much that He made a way that you could be redeemed. He made a way that you could be set free. But will you take the time to see God? You've heard the Word today. You've heard about Jesus. You've heard about salvation. But are you right with God? If you're waiting for tomorrow to get right with God, tomorrow may be too late. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day. You can only get saved in the present moment. You can't get saved somewhere, plan, date, on a future day. Say, oh, this day, I'm going to get saved. Is that the way it works? Do you know that you can only get saved when God is drawing your heart? And if God is drawing your heart right now, you better take advantage of this moment. Because if God is speaking to your heart right now, and you neglect this moment, you do not know that you have another day. You do not know that you have another time that God will be drawing on your heart. That God will be speaking to your heart and touching your heart in such a way that you know that you want to get right with God. Do you want to get right with God? Then right now is the time. That is God speaking to you. That desire on the inside to get right with God right now is God dealing with you. And I encourage you to pray. You can pray with me. You can pray by yourself. You can pray by your best side. Tonight, we have number three simple things. Confess. Confess your sins. Repent of your sins. Number two, repent of your sins. And put your faith in Jesus Christ and He will save you. Hallelujah. If you will confess and you will repent, repent means to turn from all of your sins. We need to confess and repent of our sins. If we will confess and repent of our sins, Jesus Christ will forgive us. And finally, we put our faith in Jesus Christ and He will save you. Confess that when we confess, repent, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Heavenly Father, we pray for every person under the sound of our voice and those who have heard us in the past and have already left. I pray, God, that you would move upon their hearts, change their lives, transform them, give them that, that, that wonderful experience that they can only have through you, O oh God. Work with the workers that are here, dear God. Continue to speak to their hearts, O oh God. We pray for the Jehovah's Witnesses, Lord, that you would just touch them and help them and guide them, Lord, O oh God. Lead them to the paths of all truth and righteousness. Those that are involved in other religions, Lord, we pray, God, that they will have a personal relationship with you, God. Oh, Lord, that their lives would be changed and transformed because it's not about what religion we belong to, but it's about whether our heart is right with God. It's about whether our own heart is right with you, Lord. Help us bring that point home to us today, oh God. And Lord, we'll give you praise and glory, the holy and righteous and awesome and wonderful name of Jesus. Glory to God. Does anybody here would like counsel for prayer? I will be glad to talk to you. Okay. All right, be glad to do that. Have you ever come to a place where you know Jesus forgiven you your sins? I know that Jesus is the Son of God. Good. Thank the Lord. How is your uh, How is your uh, walk with God? My walk with God is is, is rough right now. Yeah, you struggling with sin? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's that's one of the things I want to point out and help you to understand. A lot of confusion. There's a lot of churches that teach all kinds of things. This is what we got to know. And this is what's going to hold true before the Lord, not what somebody teaches. And uh, so I always encourage people, even whatever I say, you know, look it in the Word, find it in the Word, and make sure that what I'm saying is true because you don't know who I am. You know, so the Word right. has got to be your foundation. Yes, sir. Let me give you a verse of Scripture here and then we'll have prayer, all right? You have a Bible? No, sir. I got one back in the car I can give you. If you follow me back, we're just kind of parked up here about a block. Are you trying to catch a bus? Bus 9, it'd be here shortly. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can send him to get it. 
Can you go back and grab that blue Bible in the car? Can you go back and grab that blue Bible in the car? You got the key, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got this. Would you mind holding that while I hold the Bible? Right, he's going to go, he's going to run and get that. But this is the verse of scripture I wanted to show you. This is so important to understand. You know, our salvation through Jesus Christ. And yes, if, if we're living in sin, yes, sir. then then there's something not right. Because he, he has a victorious life for us. Yes, sir. And he can give us the strength to not live in sin any longer. Yes, sir. And so we can get saved, but sometimes we turn back by going back to sin. And yes, we sir. need to get it right with God and stay on top of it. Yes, so in 1 John chapter 3, we go down to verse 9, it says, Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he's born of God. So in other words, if we're truly born of God, we're not going to continue in the ways of sin. And, and so he'll forgive us, we repent, we're willing to turn from him, he gives us the strength to turn from sin, and then we keep on serving God. I'm not saying that you won't ever, ever fail God somewhere on the way, uh -huh. but that should, not, that should not be the normal case. We should not be living in right. sin. Yes, if, we're, if we're struggling with sin on a regular basis, we need to yeah, get saved. We need to get it cleared. So that's what we want to pray about today. Let's pray God will get you clear on your sins, all right? Which, my first name is Rodney. What's yours? My name is Rodney, so. Well, let's have a word of prayer. Just yes, simply, sir. I don't need to hear them, but you confess your sins to God. Yes, sir. You tell him about it. Yes, sir. And then you, you have to be willing to turn from those. Oh, yes. All right, and that's called repentance. So when you're done praying, confessing your sins out to God, just let me know and we'll go on to the next step, all right? Yes, sir. I'll go back to holding this. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now for prayer that you help him to confess all the sins to you, Lord God. That he would confess and admit his sins before you, Lord. Oh, God, that you would move upon his heart and help him, Lord, right now. That you would forgive him of his sins, Lord. Help him to be free from every one of them. Just confess all your sins to, to God. Just tell him all about it. So, Lord God, I, I failed here. I've sinned against you with this. i sinned against you with this. I confess all my sins to you, God. Every one of them. Oh, Lord, help him today, Jesus. Help him today, Lord. Help him to confess those sins out to you, and you've confessed all your sins that you know, just let me know, all right? Yes, sir. God, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. God, I ask you to forgive me for all. Forgive them, Lord, oh God. Everything that I've committed in my life, God, I release it right now today, that I want to be a born-again Christian again. I want to leave that life behind. I want to walk forward and not backwards and not look backwards. I will continue to look forward as of today. Because God, I know you have something in store for me. Amen. And all those sins you confessed, are you willing to turn for them forever? Yes, sir. Now let's pray again. You tell them, I say, Lord, I turn from my sins with your help. Lord, I, I repent. I... Mm -hmm. so tell them, so I repent, Lord. I repent, Lord. I will turn from all my sins will... with your help. I will turn from all my sins with your help. Amen. Now I want you to imagine Jesus hanging on the cross. Just to, with your eyes closed, just think of Christ hanging on that cross. And do you know that he did that for you? And for every one of those sins that you confess. You see him hanging and hurting and bleeding and dying for you. He did that for you. And for all those sins. Now put your faith and say, Jesus, I, I trust you right Jesus, now to I save trust me. You right now, Lord, I look to you in faith and save me. Your faith to save me. Change my life, Change Lord. My I life, need Lord. that witness from you. Change my life, Jesus. Jesus, give that witness from heaven, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Do you believe he forgave Amen. me today? Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Have yes. you sensed that he met with you? Yes. Praise God. Praise the Lord. He loves you. Now, what are you going to do from here on out? I'm going to say I'm going to get close to God. You got to, you got to, you got to get in His Bible. Word. Yeah, you got to get in the Word. I got to read my Bible. Right. Oh, you said you didn't have a Bible. I don't right? have so we're, we're getting you one right now. Here He comes with it. So you need to start reading. Read every day. Do you have a church you're going to? All right. I don't know the city. Is this your? Is this where you live? Where I'm born. Where okay. All right. You need to find a, a, a church that actually teaches being born again and victory over sin. And that's not easy to find anymore. I know. Because a lot of them, you know, it's like, well, you can't help but to be a sinner. That's that's nonsense. God doesn't save you if you stay a sinner. If you're saved, you're no longer a sinner. You, you walk away from sin with his help. All right? Yeah, I'll, I'll clear it out. You can go back to holding this.